Minimally invasive aortic reimplantation David procedure with ascending aortic replacement. 47 year old female presented with chest pain. An echocardiography examination showed severe aortic valve insufficiency grade 3 with ascending aortic aneurysm. A CT scan showed ascending aortic aneurysm with a diameter of 6 centimeters. She had no other comorbidities. The patient was planned for a minimally invasive valve sparing aortic valve reimplantation David procedure and an ascending aortic replacement. The ascending aorta and the aortic root are exposed via an upper J mini sternotomy up to the third intercostal space. The innominate vein is identified and carefully mobilized. A mediastinal chest tube and temporary epicardial pacing wires are placed via a small subxiphoidal incision. A CO2 sufflation line is placed into the pericardium via the mediastinal chest tube. The aorta is cross-clamped and opened. Cardioplegia is given selectively through both coronary ostea. Cold blood cardioplegia is our preferred method of myocardial protection during David procedures. Cardioplegia is repeated every 30 minutes. The ascending aorta is transected directly above the commissures and the aortic valve is assessed. The aortic root is mobilized from outside to a level immediately below the nadir of the aortic annulus. Small vessels are meticulously cauterized during aortic root preparation. Care is taken to ensure absolute hemostasis at every step of the operation. The aortic sinuses are resected to leave a rim of approximately 5 mm of the aortic wall and the coronary ostea are excised as buttons. If necessary, leaflet repairs performed to optimize the cusp co-optation. The diameter of the aortic annulus is determined with Hagar's dilator. The diameter of the prosthesis is then calculated. The diameter of the Hagar's dilator plus two sizes bigger determines the diameter of the graft. In most of the patients, however, the diameter of the Dacron prosthesis is either 28 mm or 30 mm. Thereafter, 9 to 12 unpledged threads of 2-0 coated polyester fiber are placed inside out horizontally below the valve in a circumferential fashion. The Dacron graft is anchored with these sutures with the aortic root inside the graft. The Dacron graft is fixed by tying these threads loosely to avoid the creation of a subvalvular stenosis. If a straight tube graft is being used, the commissures are maximally pulled up without stretching the Dacron graft and then fixed to the Dacron graft. If a Valsalva graft is used, the commissures are reimplanted at the level of the Neo ST junction. A water test is performed to test the co-optation of the reimplanted aortic valve. Additional aortic valve leaflet repairs performed if necessary. The mobilized aortic root with remnants of aortic sinuses are sutured to the inside of the Dacron graft using three 4-0 polypropylene sutures. This is the hemostatic suture line and as such has to be absolutely blood tight. The coronary ostea are reimplanted to the respective neosinuses by using 5-0 polypropylene suture. Hemostasis of the coronary anastomoses and performance of the aortic valve is tested by pressurizing the aortic root with cardioplegia. Subsequently, the distal aortic anastomosis is performed and after de-airing the left ventricle, the aortic clamp is removed. The surgical result is controlled by intraoperative transesophageal echocardiography. After weaning the patients from cardiopulmonary bypass, meticulous hemostasis is performed before closing the chest.